Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on Create and Use File Access Control Lists or FACLs. So File Access Control Lists um, essentially give us a bit more granular uh, management of the access to files and folders. So at the moment uh, by default we've got just um, read, write and execute um, permissions for for the user, the group, and other. So if you're not a member of user group or uh, user of the group, then you have to rely on the other to provide you with the correct permissions. So obviously that's not ideal because that means pretty much any user of the operating system. So uh, in lots of cases, that's probably not the best thing you would want to actually use. So an access control just gives you a bit more management because you can have multiple groups and multiple users having multiple different types of permission on a single file. Uh, or a uh, directory. So let's bring up the uh, terminal as always. I'll just sudo bash. And we just go to temp and we just create some uh, quick files. So I'll just do uh, make dir um, test dir1, make dir2 dir2. And then we'll touch test file one, touch test dir one, and then test file test file two, and we'll finally just do two and then three. Okay, let's do ls minus. DRA. So we just got the test file and two test DRs, DRs with those two files in there. So the first thing to do is to check if um, ACLs are actually configured on your system. In Red Hat 8, I think pretty much all the file systems support it, um, but you never do know. So it's easiest to just do an, a get file ACL and then the file name. So let's just do that test file. Oh, it was test file one, sorry. Okay, and you can see it's currently got pretty much what we got on um, the ls command. So if we just do test file one, we can see pretty much the same permission. So user read write, which is root in this case, group read, and other read. So and that also proves that ACLs are, are currently functioning. Um, if you find that there's a, if you file find a file system where um, it's not actually enabled on, um, it's very unlikely nowadays. It's, it's pretty much the standard nowadays. But I think like ext4 and stuff like that file systems may not support it. So vi uh, etc. fs tab, and at your mount point for your particular drive, you've got things like defaults. You can actually just insert a comma and then ACL and that would actually add the ACL option on there if it's supported but you'd have to look for that particular file system and ensure it's supported but yeah you may need to add the ACL in there if it's not already if it's required in this case we're using XFS and it's not required to add that at all okay so now say we want to give a bit more granular access um, so we want to give a uh, perhaps a particular user read write permissions to a directory to the particular file let's do that so let's do a set so we've got get and set and then facl minus m to modify u for user the username at the user one in this case and then the permission so it'll be read write execute so you can do read read execute something like that or read write execute for the whole thing or just read like that in this case, we'll just do read write and then the file name or the folder name. Uh, I'm doing it every time. Test file one. And if we just do an ls on that test file, we'll notice one thing different. You've got the standard permissions as we had earlier. They won't change. However, this little plus means we've got an ACL set on the uh, particular file. So we can just do a get facl and test file one 
and we can see now the additional line there user one has read write privileges for this particular file cool um, you can pretty simply just remove um, ACL permission so we can just do again a set FACL minus X to remove user one so you obviously don't give any permission um, particular read write execute because you just remove the whole lot so you can do a modify to change the permission so you could have say they've got read write and you want to give them execute as well you can just do a modify and specify read write and execute that would obviously just overwrite it but to remove all permissions completely you just got to do a minus x and then you to user and just give the username and the file or directory so we just do a get F facl and obviously it's cleaned up okay so the next thing we'd probably want to do is to set it for a group so we can do set facl and then minus m again to modify and let me just get my group actually i think it's etc group i think we've got the it group from last time yep it support okay it hyphen support okay so we do a set facl minus x g for group so u for your user g for group pretty straightforward so far and then the group name so it hyphen support and then the permissions you want to give so let's give read, read write execute in this case and the directory or file so let's do let's do it to the directory so test the dir one oh i did x should be m so set F facl minus m <laughs> x is to remove so obviously we wouldn't have all this additional uh this read write execute stuff so it's basically saying uh, all that stuff is is invalid for the minus x command so to modify obviously we minus m so that's pretty easy rectified and then we just do get facl and then test dir and we can see the group IT support has read write execute on that directory. You can also um, set permissions recursively. So we can actually, so if we, uh, let's just prove the point here. So we're just going to test DRL1 and do a get FACL on the test file in there. You can see it's just got the standard permissions. It hasn't actually pulled down the the permissions from the higher directory so we have to we have to do something different to do that so we can do a minus r so set facl and then minus r capital r so for recursive minus m for modify the group or user yeah g or u i'm just going to do ic support again and let's give them read and execute and let's do it to test dr2 and it's set awesome so if you get facl on test dir2 we should see the group has been set here and then we can actually go in to the, the dir and do the same get facl and test file free you can see it's recursively added the um, permissions there <clears throat> so now we've done some permission changes and i've done it to the temp directory so it's pretty much everyone can access the temp directory but it's you know who's got actual permission so let's just do a get facl and let's just check what people have so um let's just do the test file one so uh, users have read write access but not put um, execution permission so that's fine we've removed that one that's nice and clean so let's do a test on this new directory okay let's test this new directory as user one so let's just double check and see if the users in the it support group because obviously we added all the permissions for that group um so let's just do it okay so no one's a member of that group at the moment so it's not really applying to anyone so let's just add the user to that group minus 
lowercase a, capital G, group name, IT support, and then the username, let's do the user one. And users should be now added to that group. Awesome. So now we can do a sue to user one. So they should be able to go to temp. Let's just do an ls. And we have those these ones with pluses against. I've got the uh, FACL stuff set on them. So test, let's go into, I think it's test dr2. I can go in there. Okay, so it's owned by root and it's owned by the root group too. Uh, so I don't have, technically, without the ACL, I don't actually have any access. So it's just read only. Um, however, let's check the uh, F ACL test file free. So the user has read and execute. So what I may do is quickly go back and just give that read and read, write, and execute. So let's just go back there. Set FACL minus M group IT support read, write, execute. And then we go into there is test DIR two and then test file three. Okay. So now if I go to as user one and then directly go to test dr two and do a get FACL on the test DIR uh, test file. We should see I've got read write execute. Yep. So again as a, as I mentioned, if we just double check um According to this, I wouldn't have any access at all. So we've only got read. However, I should be able to now just edit the file. Make a change. And the access list is working nicely. It's still owned by root. And I still don't have the standard permissions. But because of the ACL, I still have access to that file. So yeah, it's a it's a really nice um, granular way to give that additional access. Um, there's again, there's always man page on these things. So if you get stuck in in the exam, straight straight to man page, and it will help you out massively. So set FACL. We've got all the man page information of all the uh, options. Um, as I mentioned, most of the ones there's minus are the minus M and the minus X is probably the stuff you're going to probably most likely use in the exam. And there's obviously get FACL as well. And you've got a load of information about that as well. As always, I put my uh, Kofi page on here. Um, so yeah, if you've, if you've got any inclination, please uh, drop a donation. That'd be awesome. Uh, then I've got my T public um, for any t-shirts or anything like that, if you're interested in anything like that. Uh, my Discord page for any questions. Um, starting to get a bit more active, which is fantastic. Um, as always, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that would be much appreciated. Um, I'm trying to reach the uh, 1K goal. We, we're nearly there, so um, please help out where you can. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again.